guys, I'm Daniel with Gum Mag Warehouse. I'm gonna talk about a stoppage that occurs very often. It's your fair to fire. Right now I've got an empty chamber, magazine in the gun, boom, still empty chamber. Try to fire, I get that click. That's distinct, every day, hammer went all the way forward, struck the firing pin, inside of the bolt carrier, type click. Happens all the time. My bolt is in a forward condition. If my bolt's in a forward condition and I got that click, this is one of the ways where the gun talks to you, communicates to you a little bit. That click it can only happen when that bolt's forward. Now, if you're at a, got a stovepipe or a failure to eject and a couple other stoppages where the bolt's forward, you can get a bit of an awkward click where the hammer doesn't go up and strike the fire pin. It just barely strikes the bolt carrier. It's much different, very distinct th uh, difference than, than this click right here that we just heard in your everyday hammer went all the way forward type click. Uh, when that happens, you could have a few different issues. One, that follower could be stuck somewhere down there where that, that it's not pushing rounds all the way to the top. Your magazine, which is one of the most likely causes, is not seated properly, which is what I see the most. Go watch our loading procedure video and reduce the amount of times that that happens. So if that does happen, to make sure that magazine is seated, that follower is not stuck, and we need to reset that hammer, or the potentially bad round that's in the chamber, bad primer, whatever our hammer's forward now, we've got to reset this whole thing and get that bad round out of the gun if it is a bad round. So to make sure that we're fixing all of these potential problems, because we don't know, we don't need to dive in and diagnose and figure out exactly what the problem is, we're going to apply a corrective action that solves all those. I'm going to slap the bottom of the magazine, forcing it up in the magazine well, making sure it's seated. Hopefully that pop lets loose of that, uh, that's pushing that spring up and that follower to the top. I come back here and grab onto my charging handle, metal on metal, release. Got that bad round out if there was a bad round or I reset everything and chambered around if it one, one wasn't chambered, which is the case here. And now my gun is ready to fire. So that quick tap rack reassess, tap rack bang, if you have a reason for a bang at the end, uh, is that quick action way to clear that failure to fire. If you get a click, there's no need to, to go into sports, pull and observe or any of that crazy stuff. It's a tap rack situation. So tap rack and get it cleared. Guys, I'm Daniel, thanks for watching.